And sometimes we'll jump in early if we think an evolution of that could result in something very interesting. Um, give you an example that leads into your second question, which is leverage points. Uh, I saw, probably 18 months ago, this little startup called Food Spot. I really liked the design sense uh, Alexa had. I'm still friends with her, but we didn't invest. We didn't invest because she didn't know what she would get if she worked with us, and she wanted to do the standard angel cap drop. And I said, great, do that. But I think we can help you dramatically increase the scope of your business. Huh? Now, I have no way of knowing I could, but probabilistically speaking, I'm pretty sure we could have had her think much bigger. Yeah. She's done very well for the reasons I thought she'd do really well. But I feel like if we were working with her, I'd be having a think about a much larger business. And I thought about three different things we would have done differently with, with her startup. Um, we're still friends. She refers all new startup, uh, her friends starting up to me. I give her advice when she asks. But I feel like she missed a large opportunity because she didn't know what she didn't know about the process. If she had gone to Joe Krause and said, hey, Joe, you did Excite, you got help, you did JobSpot, you didn't get a lot of help, would you go back and, or should I do uh, food spotting differently? I think he would have said, no matter what it takes, go with somebody who would really help you. you yeah, and, 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 and it's not just me. There are people, there are plenty of other people who help too. But 99% of the VCs won't help. That still leaves plenty of VCs who will help. What is it they do? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know the answer to this, but I'd love to hear it from you. What is it they do that isn't helpful? Because they're doing something. Right? Uh, yeah. uh, VCs? <laughs> yeah. uh, look, most people have never built a company. They don't know which decisions are important. Uh, I was telling Mike, I heard we invest in this company called Kegel, which is just a great company, two people, uh, um, ab about a month ago. Um, I don't even know if it's closed or not. I, yeah. Um, <laughs> yesterday, I heard of them trying to hire this guy they really wanted. And I said, all right, I'm going to jump in and recruit this guy. I had some plans last evening. I canceled them. I met with a guy. I said, I'm going to help you recruit because he could double or triple the value of your company. I've spent all day. I'm waiting for text message updates. I have a call scheduled with him. If I have to, as soon as I get back to San Francisco, I'm going to go meet him, and I'm going to close him, right? And this, I would guess there's a 75% chance I'll be successful, and 25% chance I'll lose this guy to another benchmark company. What is the guy's name? <laughs> I'll tell you tomorrow. But, but the whole point is, this guy wasn't considering going with them when I met him last night. Now I'd say, he told me after we finished meeting that there was a 75% chance because he saw a much larger vision of all the possibilities, not what the company would do, but I defined five great possibilities for the company which would make this other option that he was thinking of largely a toy thing. Huh? That was my job, and now I'm going to try and keep selling him on that. Now, recruiting is what I love. I also love a challenge where we were going to lose, and now I'm going to try and win. Right? And it's going to tremendously help this company, and I'm actually convinced it will double the value of the company overnight if they got this person. And that's what you call a leverage point. That's a leverage point that you will never realize that the difference between good advice and bad advice is not 20% more value, but 500% more value. So the value you create depends on pivot points that seem innocuous when you make those decisions, but can have huge implications. And I see these decisions made the wrong way all the time. People don't know what they don't know. Every decision is probabilistic. So you, I can never tell you what I'm telling you is the right thing. 
But I can tell you, I've had more experience. I've seen that scenario before. And I can help you with these large pivot points. In the end, your trajectory is going to be dramatically different. And the world is a digital world. Either you're really successful, or you're not. If you're not, the percentage ownership doesn't matter. And if you are, your percentage ownership doesn't matter. Uh, uh, but startups aren't about sort of these predictable little things. It's the decisions you make that you don't even realize you're making and the implications they have. And these are the leverage points I'll just speak about. As an entrepreneur, it's important if they're working with you to understand where you can add value and not, or where it's less relevant. I was telling you the story upstairs about a startup that I'm working with that's you know, pre-funding I'm an advisor, and the, the founder is a, is, a, is a, she's very insecure. Like a lot of, a lot of startup founders are, they just, they want allies, they want to be able to talk to those allies for an hour a day. And I, and I, 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 I can't talk to you for an hour a day, and she was getting annoyed at me, but then I've just gotten somebody amazing on the technical side to, to help, and I think I've probably tripled the value of the company by that one thing. And it actually took me less time than talking to her, but that's where I am. Yeah, and, and then there's, a, there's lots of points like that in every startup's history, and most of the time, I bet she doesn't realize what she just did for her. She doesn't, but I'm going to explain it to her. <laughs> I'm actually going to show her the video of this. <laughs> the most important decisions startups never realize they make, right? or they don't realize the non-linear explosion of the impact that this will yeah. have, either good or bad. Yeah, so the smartest thing they can do after they get you as an investor is to understand how to use you to make yeah. themselves successful. It, time check, I have no clue. 